exciting. First time you've interviewed me. <laughs> Actually, this is the first yes. time I've interviewed you. Yes. Mm. Good morning, Craig Phillips. You are on the radio. He's going to be used to hearing this. Do not swear. <laughs> I'll try my hardest not to, Brian. I'll try my hardest. <laughs> see, this is the real test for me. Obviously, everyone knows Craig is the OG from Big Brother. He won <laughs> season one back in 2000. This is the very first time I have ever interviewed you. I know, I know. We've met a million times, but we've never actually... You've never interviewed me, no? Not at all? I know. First time. Uh, I'm here with the gorgeous Suzanne Kane. You know who Craig is, Suzanne. Oh, sorry, see, I do. Hi, Craig. Morning. How <laughs> are you? Lovely to meet to you Dublin. too, Welcome Suzanne. To Ireland via VT. I know, I know. What's the weather like over there today? It's always gorgeous. It's, actually, it's always sunny in Ireland. We're having an October that's actually quite warm. What mm. about you? It's beautiful. Yep. Yeah, sun is shining outside. It's amazing. Okay, Craig, let's get down to business. Mm. Big Brother is officially back yes we were playing the theme tune for club 98 last week when i hear that music yep. i get chills i Trigger. feel a bit anxious triggered ptsd what goes through <laughs> your mind craig when you hear that iconic theme tune the exact same the moment i hear it it's kind of it, it scarred us for life really hasn't it? i mean in a good way as well you know i can be anywhere in the world and certainly that first five or six years after after big brother it was everywhere, wasn't it? Really, really was. It, whether it's in a club, if it's in a bar, you hear it on television, an advert or anything, bang, the memories come back. You're actually right because back in the time, you know, back in our day, Big Brother yeah. was so huge. They played the Big Brother theme tune in nightclubs. Mm -hmm. yes. And it was a very weird feeling to yeah. be out drinking <laughs> and, hearing, and hearing the theme tune. Yeah, that's right. Because as, as you probably the same, Brian, we've done hundreds of personal appearances in all weird, wonderful places around around the world sort of thing. And um, after time, introducing us on to be an MC there with a the mic, giving the big build-up, and then that music will come bursting in and you get taken on stage or whatever you was. So, yeah, it's really, really embedded in me. I, I love it. Like what he says, take it on stage. I was literally grabbed and told, sit here, do this, here's a drink. This, there you go. You need to be here. Craig, it's back. I want to know how mm. you feel. Number one about Big Brother, the icon that is Big Brother, the show being back. Yeah. And my other question is, and it's okay, you can say safe circle, Craig. Are you watching? Oh. It, t sorry, I cut off for a second then. What was that? Are you watching? So first of oh, all, yes, like, what absolutely. do you think about it being back? And are you going to watch? Yeah, I, I'm super pleased. It's back in fairness. I, I really am. I felt for me... The 10 years it run for Big Brother, I think went to the 11th series on there, it was time to end. I felt as if the show had run its course. It started off up there, didn't it, Brian? And as the years and years yeah. went by, it did kind of narrow down. And my kind of feedback I was getting from the public was, you know, they were coming to the end of it. They kind of had enough. And then, of course, it came back again on Channel 5, wasn't it? Was that one or two years later? Will you host it? You host it, Brian, of course. Yeah, it yes, was. Yes, yes, yes. The year after Ultimate, so it came back in 2011, I left in 2013 and yeah. then I finished five years ago on five, yeah. Yeah, finished about five years ago then. So for me, I don't know how you, you felt, Brian, I knew you hosted it. I, I felt as if it come back a little bit too soon. I got the impression it needed a little bit more of a gap. And where we stand today, being off air for what, five or six years, I generally think it's had a big enough gap now to one, bring in a new fresh maybe younger audience, you know, a kind of the Love Island style kind of characters, uh, 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 viewers on there. And also the, you know, the uh, good hard, uh, hardcore fans that we had, you know, in that first five years, Brian, you know, who will always be there, you know, they're it's in their blood. They love Big Brother. So I think you're going to get now we've had this big gap this year, this, this one now, I do feel ITV are going to do it justice and it should take off. I hope it takes off, you know. What about you, Brian? How do you feel about it, the big gap now, and it coming back? Yeah, I mean, I think you're right. I think the show needed to break for a bit, and mm. I think it needed some breathing space. And yeah. Ultimate was 2010. It came back in 2011, yes. because I think people wanted the show back. Davina had left. There was still a lot of yeah. love for the show. There's a lot of respect for the show. And yes. you hit it there right on the head when you said about the fan base. The fan base for this show yes. is so strong. Mm. But that also can be a bit because they have an opinion on everything yes. from host to previous winners mm. 
to the channel it's on, to 24, you know, the feed, to the spin-off show. Yes. Um, like, but I, 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 I feel like they own it, though. Yes. You know, like, it, there's there's something about, I think, about for you guys being part of Big Brother, that the fans almost feel like they have ownership over you to an extent. Like, I obviously, with you, knowing from working with you and how, pe how vocal people are, and people will say things, and I'm sure the same for you, Craig, because, like, mm. you're the OG, is that people have so much love, but also they're genuinely interested in you doing well and your yeah. lives and that you guys being happy. Yeah, they generally care for us. I, I do believe that, you know. And I've had I've had conversation. I'm sure Brian has as well with with other kind of um, or really big names. Let's say I'm not to talk. Go back twenty odd years ago, you know, when um, when when these big names have built, spent all their life building their careers up and their profiles up to get a recognition. You know, you and I, Brian, we went on these shows for for nine or ten weeks, sort of things, and we were getting equally as much kind of acknowledgement and recognition yeah. as those. But what we, we discovered was the difference between was our fan base, because they watched us every day, sometimes morning, noon and night, just being ourselves in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bedroom, etc. Where when they're watching someone like, I'll give you an example, Robbie Williams, you know, I've had a conversation with him about it and where they only see him on stage or the odd interview. So they don't feel as if they personally know him as much as they personally knew us because we were only being ourselves. We weren't being a pop star or an actor or a, a sports personality, you know. So I think we were easier to approach than other people who were quite high, you know, on TV at that time. Yeah, Craig just mentioned opportunities for people like, you know, Craig just said that meeting Robin Williams, Robbie yeah. Williams, because Robbie Williams is a huge fan of the show. So Craig, you were crowned the first winner, I think it was the September of 2000. Yes. How did winning Big Brother change your life, positively and negatively, if it did? I, I Well, I'd say 99% positively, Brian, you know, hand on heart, I, I, I don't regret anything of it. The opportunities that came my way and how it changed my life, you know, um, not that my life was bad in any way, you know, I was quite happy and content running my building company and it was going in the right direction. <laughs> I didn't kind of need it. However, it came my way and I did take advantage of it. If you'd say, what's the negative sides of that? i tell you what I did experience and I don't know whether you felt it as well, Brian. When I first come out of the house, I didn't go home for 97 days. I was in the house for 64 for 97 days, I changed hotel every night and I was wow. chaperoned by bodyguards, drivers, yeah. press officers, agents, and I had all these people around me and everywhere I went, there was a beautiful, warm welcome, hundreds of people waiting, flags, banners, all that type of welcoming, but I've never felt so lonely. Oh, it was a really, yeah. really Christ. strange thing and, and I'm not a lonely person. I've got lots of good friends and I was having the time of my life, but I was just thinking... There's something missing. I don't quite know what it was, you know. And every night you're getting in these beautiful hotels and everyone's doing everything for you, which is flattering, you know. I'd love them to be doing it nowadays, but they're not. <laughs> but just then it was like, oh my word, I'm I'm looking around. I haven't got I haven't got a real friend here. Everyone around me is being paid and they become friends, don't get me wrong, they're beautiful yeah. people and, and they work real hard with us and we become friends and we always will be. But at the time, it didn't feel that way, you know. So I'd say that for me was the, the negative side of it. Um, Craig Phillips is staying with us. This is 98 FM. We are chatting with the gorgeous Craig Phillips this morning on the show. The OG, the first winner <laughs> of Big Brother. He set the bar so high back in 2000. Craig, I have to ask you, I get asked this question all the time. Yep. And for me, the answer is no, I'm not. <laughs> are you in contact with anyone from your season of the show? And if so, who? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. <gasps> I'm in the same the boat. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I did not expect Craig to say that. No, I, I did not Craig expect was that. nicer than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a much nicer person. I thought he would be. I, I, think, they're all, I think they're all jealous because we won, Brian. <laughs> Maybe, I don't <laughs> know. Listen, I can't exactly. confirm nor deny that. He's right, he's right. <laughs> Do you know the last person I'd seen was... The notorious nasty Nick over in Sydney, Sydney Harbour. Um, we, Laura and I, my, my wife now, uh, we were well, we weren't even engaged at that point. We were just dating, and we travelled around Asia and went over to uh, Sydney, Australia, to see a, a dear friend of ours. And I proposed to Laura up on the top of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, and uh, I text nasty Nick to say I'm in town. You know, where are you? What you're up to? Knowing he was there, got the odd message from on social media, of course. So um, he said, yeah, I'm here, I'm living here, you know, let, let, let's catch up. So we did, we went for dinner and it was quite, quite interesting because Laura, my wife, is a little bit younger than me. So when I was in the Big Brother house at 28, 
and a half. She was only 15, sitting on the couch. <laughs> we're not here. To, we're not here. There's to no judge. There's no yeah. judge. Yeah. Couldn't even vote. She was too young. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even vote. No, no. So she, her only experience is watching them off the telly and, of course, seeing some press and things like that afterwards. So um, she was quite nervous going to meet him. You know, she's met quite a lot of Big Brother housemates since, but she was just kind of quite nervous to go meet Nasty Nick. Um, so yeah, it was, it was it was a good night we had. It was nice to see him, but that is that is the last Big Brother housemate that I've actually seen uh, in person. Craig, what was the best thing? Because like I'm a huge from from you, like you being the OG right away along, and I always find it really weird that Brian and I do um, a radio show together every morning because I watched him sleep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and now we just do it out of fun. Yeah. Um, but uh, what was the best part about being associated with Big Brother? Like, was there anything or any moment that you were like, "Wow, this is because of Big Brother," or like a highlight? Because it's been obviously twenty three years, but. As you said, like when I think about Big Brother, I think about Brian, I think about you, like there's really iconic people. But for you, is there a moment? Um, I don't know. I mean, kind of kind of winning that moment of being announced. I mean, all, all throughout when I first went into Big Brother, I remember and Brian will, will experience this. All the build up to it was was stressful, was exciting, was nerve wracking, etc. And when you initially get picked that you're going to go in there. Um, I don't know about you, Brian, but I felt I, I was picked over 45,000 applicants. I think it was about half a million when when your second one come about. But I felt like a winner already. You know, I'd already walked in that door thinking whether I win or come last, you know, 10th in there, I still feel like a winner of being picked over them. And then finally being picked to be the winner, that was the kind mm. of the, the buzz and the explosion for me. But the, the, the aftermath of that, what kind of came our way, I mean... You, you might remember I was collecting for little Joanne Harris at the time, the yeah. Down syndrome yeah. girl. She needs the heart and lung transplant and couldn't get it in the UK. So we, we were trying to get the money taken to America. But I had people like Richard Branson, you know, we were live on air on, on the Virgin Radio show. He'd give me £50,000, you know, for, for wow. Joanne. You had, um, you know, the Beckhams wanting to, to, to give me money. Um, also, I can't think of the way. Richard Branson, you know, invited me along on his plane and then he's wanting to give tens of thousands of pounds. So... That for me was just so flattering that all these people wanted to show the support. Um, we so then we kind of got a bit of a campaign together to kind of have a go at the government. You know, why aren't you operating on Down syndrome children? It's discriminating and it's not acceptable, etc. Mm -hmm. And we got the law changed, law changed in literally about two weeks' time. You know, and wow. I ended up getting a great yeah, Scott, incredible. got a great Scott wow. honorary award for it. You know, for just doing achievement like that. And I wasn't setting out to get an award. I was setting out to change mm -hmm. something that I felt was wrong. Um, and then. All the just the good things kind of come come after that, you know, and along with it. That's it's just the though. power of Big Brother yeah. back then in 2000, 2001, 2005. And people yeah. will say to you, like, say about you or, or you, Craig, or anybody, yeah. it's like, well, it's just to show what well, actually. No, it's more it's than It's so show. much it's more. more. And again, yes. yeah, 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 like it, yeah, it's yeah, so much more. Yeah. But the power of the people who see you on a show fall in love with your lives and genuinely just yes, want yeah, to help yeah. your life. And you know, it was right. an interesting conversation I had with. Uh, I opened a construction training academy. This is going back about 2003 and four. And Tony Blair and Cherie Blair, they come down to do the official opening for me. And I was having dinner with them and they said to me, I, I asked Cherie, you know, why did the government give in so easily for me when we were trying to, when the Down Syndrome Society fought for like 16 years, you know, and got nowhere sort of thing. And she said to me, she said, being the winner of Big Brother, coming out with millions and millions of votes, phone calls, mm -hmm. she said, you don't realise how powerful you were. You had no wow. idea. And her words were, you... In your time, in your duration in the House, you had more votes than the last general election. And they had to pay 25 pence to vote for you and I, Brian, when yes. we were in there, you know. And things like that gets us places in the Guinness Book of World Records for yeah. the most live phone calls and things. So we were we were quite naive, Brian, weren't we? Although, you know, you, you were the year after me and we still yeah. won. A lot of what goes on, the mechanics behind it and the actual power you have in your hands at that point, you don't realise, you know, it's, it's, it's frightening. God, I wish I realised how powerful I was. Like, <laughs> yeah. Only if we Gray could have been prime minister. I could have been the first lady. <laughs> Gray, we, could talk to you, we could talk to you a morning. Fortunately, we can. So the last question I'm going to ask you is, any advice you'd have for any housemates this year on ITV that are leaving the show? Uh, As the OG, what would you say to them? Um, I mean... Enjoy it, first of all, you know, try and be yourself whilst you're in there. When they come out, whether they're winners or runners-up or not, as long as they've got a backup plan of somewhere to go to, 
don't go in there and want to come out expecting you're going to get, you know, unlucky ones like you and I, Brian, a career that's going to last them a lifetime. So people yeah. say to me, you know, what advice would you give me? I'm thinking of going on it or I've applied for it. I've been asked many a times in the past. And I say to them, if you haven't got a backup plan of a, of a, of a life or a business afterwards, don't even bother applying, you know. That's what I'd normally say to people going in. But anyone coming out now, wish them all the luck. If they need any advice, give me O'Brien a call. <laughs> no, give Craig. No, Brian won't answer, Craig. Answer, no, always, he's nice. Thank you so much Chris, for joining us. Easy. Give Pleasure. it up for Craig Phillips. And this is 98FM. <laughs> bye, guys. Craig, thank oh, you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Lovely to see Lots you, Brian. Love, darling. Lovely Take to care. meet bye, you. Bye-bye. Lovely to meet you. Bye, guys. Bye, bye.